Hello everyone, we are back with our uh, friend Hero20, uh, Reborn. Uh, we are right where we left at Leah's Road and we are gonna proceed uh, into our quest to talk to Lagon. Right now what we need to do is get to Tetima and there we will be able to take a boat into the Lagon's ice, Iceland kind of thing. So uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, this act definitely has more difficulty than the previous ones, I think. There are some enemies that are like pretty nasty, especially when you get to coral pools and stuff. But it should be fine. This is going to be our first encounter with a golem. These enemies are pretty scary in arena later on. So getting familiar with them is quite uh, important, I would say. Be careful with their charge. Careful. That he's doing the golem thing, like the, the bazooka. Be careful because they have this like AoE when they go half life. They do this um, kind of like supernova around them. It's a dot damage, you can't block it, you can't dodge it. If you get hit by it, you will take a lot of damage. Uh, keep that in mind. They always do it, they only do it once when they go half HP. So as long as uh, you're kind of like taking, you know, looking at their HP and making sure that they, when they are like half HP, you are like not close to them, you should be fine. We talk to Architect. Architect is trying to stop us. She asks uh, for a favor to stop uh, one of the generals of a uh, of a uh, riot, and we need to go to the this tower in order to stop it. Uh, this boss Pontifex that we're about to fight uh, can be a bit. Uh, I mean, he does some damage, so uh, we should be fine. Let's take the increased movement speed and cast speed. That's really nice. Uh, every time you enter a new area in this game, your cooldowns reset, so you can see my teleport. It's on cooldown, but now it completely resets, so you can do these staircases really fast. Yeah, there, there is Pontifex. Be careful. The flame brief is not that bad. The one that you gotta be careful of is the, the Novas, when he casts the Novas in the air. Well, it was scary actually. We need mana. Let's grab the mana. That's the Novas. Don't get hit by this. They're like smites, kind of a elemental Nova. Be really careful with those. Grab the potion. We need mana now. Again, be really, really careful with this guy. If you get hit by the... Most of the attacks, are you're gonna be fine. Uh, and But we got, you gotta be careful because you still don't have crit avoidance. And if he crits you with one of the attacks or something, you might not expect the burst. Alright, uh, there he goes. Uh, we did it. 
Good enough, good enough. Uh, let's see what we got. Luna stuff, nope. No. Nothing really useful. So let's grab a... Uh, Let's grab the item quest and proceed with our mission. This area can get pretty nasty, so be careful. Again, there's a lot of eagles, a lot of like, um, how you call it, a lot of archers and stuff. So. Careful with these guys, the, the little uh, eye looking thing is. They do this attack, I'll show it. I killed it now, but um, they have this attack where they're like charging on you and it has the telegraph is pretty um, Hard to see but basically they kind of like channel their little like they're like this winged uh, kind of like mechanic devices and they lock into you and then they throw like a Kind of like a line a fire line that is like ignite and if you get hit by a couple of those especially when you're doing monolith and stuff it can be pretty nasty so keep that in mind uh, we were going for the crit multi uh, we don't really need the elemental resistance right now but these points can be really handy uh, we are gonna go for the cast pit now and uh, adaptive spell damage flat damage is really important for mage so go with this guy covenant uh, is really scary that is the attack that I mentioned really scary enemy but I know there's like a oops. I went the wrong way actually that, that one don't get hit by that one there's a uh, next zone really really close so you can kind of like afford pulling a lot of stuff again there's a teleport right here but like like a like a new portal so you can you can just rush and we made it to Tetima, the last uh, city available at the moment in the campaign. There's a few quests here to, to get, and we see Julia and Grael are helping us. Try not to hurt yourself. May I Talk to you? all the NPCs. We got our passive point. Gods be with you. Good boy. Some uh, secondary missions. Okay, right now before this area, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inspect on Mana Strike because now we kind of like wanna be ranged. So I'm gonna inspect Mana Strike and I'm gonna specialize Focus. Uh, I think Focus right now is gonna be more important just because I need to make sure that I, I am able to get mana from a distance because Mana Strike is really good for mana early on but right now my, char my character is pretty squishy, so if I get close to get mana to a boss or something, I'm gonna pay the price. So I'm gonna go for the focus option. You you have different ways to build this. Uh, you can go for the negative mana uh, burst, or you can go for the no cooldown option. I prefer the no cooldown option, just because that's how I always played it. But uh, if you prefer going up this route right here and grab these points, you can also do that. But I'm gonna go for the um, for the no cooldown option, uh, just because it's better. I, I prefer it for kiting. We're gonna get this point there really quick. Again, my my uh, my focus I normally use on R, and you can see right now it has a cooldown. So if I channel it to get mana, uh, 
you know, like uh, it it got it has that burst that can be really helpful. But you gotta you gotta be really careful because since it's locked behind a cooldown, sometimes you you know you, you cast it like that. Oh fuck! You know you're about to get hit by something. You have to cancel it, and you you might not expect that. Uh, you know you might think you you are able to cast it. You can't cast it. You cancel it, and then you can get mana for like a few seconds. Uh, you can get used to it, but I just prefer this playstyle. So just uh, spec it the the way you prefer it. Honestly, it's preference. Uh, I know a really good sorcerer player called Foe uh, plays with the negative mana and the burst, but I prefer this one. And, uh, both playstyles are viable for endgame and stuff, so play however you prefer it. Maruna Sirens, this enemy, pretty scary. <laughs> pretty, pretty scary. Alright, let's get the uh, Orlining Blast on our, on our W now. It will be, remember it will be a single target. So right now, you know we can focus, lightning blast, etc. Now also our next points in uh, glacier since we already have all the damage nodes, we're gonna be specking into the percentage of mana gained uh, when you crit. So basically when you um, when you hit enemies. Uh, and basically what this does is like when you hit enemies you will get mana back if you crit them and we're gonna be critting them with glacier so it's really handy Be careful because getting uh, getting uh, used to Glacier can be tricky at the beginning. Nice. We got Lightning Blast. Um, we're going to be working into these chains. And then we'll get the damage when... I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I go Chains, maybe I go Shock. We'll see. Uh, but this setup is pretty good early on. Again, this area has like a lot of like ambushes, enemies that just spawn and stuff. So be really careful. And crops. We got the point that I wanted, which is the non cooldown, and you can see now we can just like cast focus whenever we want and kite with it. Uh, I prefer this playstyle because um, I feel like I'm more mobile and I have more control on when and when I want mana, mana and why I want mana. Um, but again, you you do you, you know, you play how you want it. You can see what I'm talking about here. damage pretty good <laughs> obviously right now we're gonna struggle a bit since we just uh, did like a change of skills so don't you don't worry too much you know we have we need a few levels on focus before it's like good we'll keep that in mind uh, we need all of these points to make it good the increase mana region and the mana per missing mana that will make it go extremely fast well, not extremely fast, but way, way faster. Mm -hmm. 
well caught. Also, Glacier is a really expensive ability, so, you know, we can only cast it like three times before we go um, but it does a lot of damage, so it's kind of worth it. Again, focus right now, really slow, but, you know, we're leveling it, it should be fine, we're getting another point really soon. Let's get uh, these points that I mentioned. My game froze, I think. Well, my game crashed. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we didn't get the portal, so we gotta rewalk all of this. As you can see, you can go way faster than I did, but... Just wanted to show it how you should do it if you're not confident or if you're like a, a beginner. You, should, you probably want to make sure you have your full mana, you know, like you go slowly. Don't take too many risks, etc. I wonder how far away we are from Glacier. The, with the level. The level on Glacier is gonna be really nice for the mana sustain. Keep, speak to the trader. He asked uh, to grab X and to kill some crabs. It's a bit of an MMO kind of quest, so just pick the X and kill the crabs, boys. We gotta do something else also here, so we can we can do the crabs later. First, you wanna go up, so you get. Uh, Something else you will see. Actually, we're gonna go down because it's better pathing. You wanna go in the center first, so you can grab like the main quest, and then you, when you go to the side area, you can do the main quest and the side quest. So we'll do it this way. Careful with getting trapped and stuff. Let's grab a potion there. Yes. This is the area that I mentioned. And uh, this uh, to the right is like where we came from, like where the Ge'ek quest is. Yes. And to the left is where the other quest is. So we gotta grab like these fragments for these devices. And there's gonna be one on the right and one on the left. So I like doing the one in the 
in the right first because it's like better pathing it's like a bit faster so you go to the right and you do like a little circle around the, this is like a uh, area of the map um, so you can complete all the quests like in order basically okay, make sure you don't get trapped this area has a uh, quite a bit of density so be careful Make sure you kill the, the sirens. Our mana situation is uh, getting there, you know, to say the least. <clears throat> but in a few points, it should be way, way better. Uh, I, I decided to do this like mana conversion right now because I think it would be m smoother getting into monolith later on But you know you you could you could do it earlier so you know you don't You could just go to a, like a, a level lower level lower lower level area So you could just like uh, level your skills before going into this if you don't feel confident but uh, you know, if, if you decide to do it the way I'm doing it, you're gonna go a bit slower just while you level your skills, but, but, but I think it's fine. It's hardcore anyway, right? So you kind of want to go slow and kind of want to go safe, especially if it's your first playthrough on it. Um, so keep that in mind. Careful with the Mr. Crap. You can see my ma the mana starting to go a bit faster. This guy has revive and dodge, so quite a bit of an annoying crap. Alright, we killed it. Let's keep going. Nothing really good. This is one of the quest items that we have to grab. It's like little uh, fragment of the moon, it's called. Careful with the were shark. Well, we call them were sharks, but because they look like were sharks. And now we got a. There's another quest in this area. Uh, it's completely optional, but we're gonna do it since we're here. Careful. You gotta walk here, and once you reach this area, it uh, procs the quest. Right there, you can see. And it's basically like a kill count. We gotta kill certain amount of enemies or of every type. So we will do that. Careful with the sirens. You know, you stack a couple of these sirens, you might be in trouble. This one has increased damage also, so be careful. Alright, we have some mana now. They have the, uh, two attacks, Maruna sirens. They have like the little ball and they have like the big wave. They all hurt a lot. Uh, so, respect uh, respect these enemies. Right, we gotta kill uh, two more sirens and uh, a lot of uh, stranded sailors. Be careful because this guy has a lot of attack speed. You always pay attention to the modifiers that uh, each uh, monster has. Uh, because depending on the modifiers they have, they will behave completely different. Right, let's build some sailors. Lining damage could be good. This idol could be good, so we're gonna grab it. Always grab the stuff that you think is gonna be useful for your uh, character, you know. 
even if it you if you don't plan to use it initially it might you might want to use it later for example in this playthrough we're gonna be using different builds uh, depending on what stage of the game we are we're gonna start with glacier which is kind of like this bursty playstyle uh, but later on we're gonna move into um, into um, into fireball probably because it's better for kiting and I think it's safer to play uh, right now basically that area it's uh, we still need to kill uh, a few more enemies and the easiest way to basically find the enemies you want to kill is you can literally just uh, respawn like the entire zone uh, so you just kill them again <laughs> you know by taking a portal in and out it's kind of like a small tip I can give you guys uh, we're looking for the stranded sailors so let's see stranded sailors are really easy to kill it's these guys right there these guys we just gotta kill sailors that's another one that's another one there's three here four I think uh, we killed all the sailors we can get out Careful with the war shark chasing chasing us. There's a portal here, so no worries. Take the portal, move on. Talk to this guy, like I said, and now the quest is complete. And like I mentioned, you know, if you if you path this way, you go to the center first, and then you run around. Uh, you're gonna be doing the quest uh, faster. Just because you, uh, you're kind of like walking in a straight line to chaining quests. Which obviously is more efficient than just uh, doing one quest and walking all the way to a place and then walking all the way to another place. And this way is much better. Alright. Again, uh... We gotta keep grab the X and uh, how you say it? Uh, kill the kill the crabs. There is a specific place where there's anything you want, everything you want, and that's the place that we're gonna go. Careful. We need mana. We gotta level our skills also. Let's kill the Maruna with Lightning Blast. Nice. We have some skills to level. Lovely. We get the 1% the per missing mana. So now when we are low, our mana will go higher. The lower we are, the high, the faster we're going to get mana. That's really nice. And now we're specking into this thing that I mentioned. Where we're going to be getting uh, percentage mana when we when we kill or when we crit. We're going to go into this and then into, into the other one. Uh, for flame board again we're still going for the damage mitigation gonna be really useful and then we we still we, we go for more chains at the moment for lightning blast so you know there's more and more more and more chains can we we grab the x you can see how the focus is going faster and faster now So, you know, this kind of like also, I wanted to talk about this too. Like, sometimes you use skills and they seem that they're not really good at level 1. But there's a lot of skills in this game that just require a few levels to like really like uh, show what they're capable of. Does that make sense? You know, you might put on a skill level 1 and think, oh, this skill is garbage, what the fuck? And uh, actually, if you invest some points into the skill, the skill might turn into a really good skill. Uh, so keep that in mind. Don't, don't overjudge a skill too early. Okay, we have... We gotta kill giant crabs also. And there's a giant crab there. Be careful, he has increased damage. We kill him. And there's 3x here. We need another 3x. And there's the fragment of the moon that we're missing. And you can look you can do this little cheese here. We're gonna kill the big crab since we need it for the quest. We 
you can do this little cheese where you just take a portal here. Take the portal back. And all the eggs are gonna be back. <laughs> Again, obviously when multiplayer comes you won't be able to do this since there's gonna be server persistence. But until then, you can just grab your eggs this way. You get the eggs. And then we gotta kill two more crops. Uh, obviously there's enough eggs in this area if you don't want to do this and you just want to want to walk around finding the eggs You know, there's a lot of eggs <laughs> uh, But uh, just for the time the, the sake so the sake of time uh, We're just gonna do it this way All right You can see now that when we glacier and we crit we're getting some mana back which is really handy Careful here, oh. or lag, or game is lagging a bit today. I, I apologize. We grab the portal just in case, you know. I'm one of those persons who love having all the portals on every game and explore every area and shit like that. So you don't really need this portal anymore, but I like having all of them. I feel complete. And with all the quests uh, achieved, um, we can place the moon fragments. That will allow us to activate the device. I have warned you again and, again. and we can go into the Temple of Lagon. If you wish for Lagon's temple to be your tomb, then so this area is pretty cool. Really nice. Like it's like a temple in the water, and it has like the the you can see like into the sea floor and stuff. Pretty cool. There's uh tentacles for those who are into that, you know. I'm not I'm not here to judge you guys. All right, and we're gonna go back to Tetima to complete our quests. You know, there's a couple quests that you we need to give. Uh, pretty sure this guy, right? Good to be with you. Good boy. Oh, we gotta return to the trader. I completely fucked up. Guys, when you kill the crops... <laughs> okay, I, f I forgot about this little detail. Thank God we got the teleport. When you kill the crops, you actually gotta go back to the, the crop trader. So... <laughs> I forgot about this little part. Uh... You know the, the guy who gave us the quest originally? You actually have to talk to him. So I apologize. A bit of a sloppy episode today, but uh, I'm warming up, you know. Now we get it. <laughs> I for I forgot to talk to the NPC. Damn it. Oh, there you go. He gives us uh, quite a bit of gold. I think it's 6,000? 5,000? 4,000? Quite a bit of gold, especially early on in the game. You know, you can use it to gamble, etc. Uh, we got a, a quest point that we are gonna take, of course. Uh, we max or uh, we keep uh, specking into focus. Again, you can see right now, focus goes quite faster than the uh, beginning of the episode if you compare it. And again, uh, we will continue on uh, the Temple of Lagon on the next episode. I'll see you guys.